And WBZ's Tiffany Chang continues our team coverage tonight. She is live at the Weymouth Police Department with a reaction from law enforcement. Tiffany. Katie and Ken, the South Shore community is coming together in a powerful way in the wake of Officer Chesna's death. You can see a makeshift memorial growing outside of the Weymouth Police Department as fellow officers and complete strangers dropped off flowers, even spending a couple of minutes out here to pay their respects. Hearts are weighing heavy on the South Shore. Police formed a procession this afternoon in honor of 42 year old Michael Chesna, a dedicated Weymouth police officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty this morning. Uh, he was just uh, a great family man. He was a great officer. I would see him in the morning coming in from the street. He was always had a kind word and a, and, a, and a good attitude. Weymouth Police Chief Richard Grimes hired Chesna because of his willingness to protect and serve, telling us this was his life's dream. I was speaking with his mom this morning, and she told me that he joined the military to help. Uh, open the doors for him to get on this job. Officers from surrounding communities line the streets of Weymouth saluting their brother in blue whose life was cut tragically short this morning. This is a show of respect. It's often a thankless job. A community grieving. People could be seen dropping off flowers at the Weymouth Police Department all day in memory of Officer Chesna. It's sad and it hits way too close to home but um, like I said I hope the flowers and everything really uh, you know shows the family and the police that we, we care about them. The husband and loving father of two young children put on that uniform this morning, but sadly won't be returning home. We're told Chesna's two children are just four and nine years old. Flags outside of the Weymouth Police Department at half staff as this community begins the difficult healing process. Live in Weymouth, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.